I have been chief of the New Mexico State Police for eight and a half months. This will be the third officer New Mexico has buried in that time. Well, we have a lot of news to get to, but we are following some breaking news right now. New Mexico State Police responding to a shooting in Guadalupe County off of Walla Road. Homeowners tell them they were checking on their livestock when they noticed a dark figure running through the tree line and two shots being fired at them. The man was seen wearing a brown jacket and cap heading northwest. Right now, state police can't confirm if it's the man who say who they say shot and killed their officer, but the shooting is very close to their search area from just yesterday. And speaking of that, messages of support pouring in for New Mexico State Police Officer Justin Hare, who was killed and now his family is being remembered as well. The governor saying Friday is a reminder of the dangers officers face each time they put on their uniform. Officer Hare was doing his job protecting his community and his sacrifice will never be forgotten. But his life suddenly ended after he was shot and killed. Reporter Alyssa Munoz has more on what we know so far of what unfolded there. This is the third officer in New Mexico that has been killed within the last eight months. State police say they're still looking for the suspect who they say shot and killed Officer Hare. Around 5 a.m. yesterday, Officer Hare was dispatched to help somebody with a flat tire on Interstate 40 near Tucumcari. As Officer Hare arrived, police say Jeremy Smith, the suspect who is from South Carolina, approached the passenger side of the officer's car. After Officer Hare offered help, police say Smith shot him, then went around to the driver's side, shooting him again. Officers say Smith pushed Hare to the passenger side and took off in his police vehicle. At some point, Hare activated a distress call on his radio. Another officer was dispatched and saw Hare's unit traveling fast on the interstate. That officer caught up to find Hare's vehicle crashed. No one was inside the vehicle and police say Smith left on foot. A search team was called and they followed Smith's trail until it ran cold. Officer Hare was found on a frontage road of I-40. He was taken to a hospital in Tucumcari where he died from his injuries. The last words Officer Hare uttered on this earth was to offer help to a man who was about to kill him. Jeremy Smith, we are coming for you. The chief says they are putting all of their resources to finding Smith and they're asking for your help. Take a close look at this picture. If you see him, call police and be careful. He is believed to be armed and dangerous. Police also say Smith has ties to Albuquerque. They are continuing to search for him and asking Smith to turn himself in. Reporting in studio, I'm Melissa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. Alyssa, thank you. We have also learned Smith is tied to a missing paramedic from South Carolina who has been found dead in that same state. Phoenicia Machado fourth body was discovered Friday night near the South Carolina, North Carolina border after family members reported her missing on Thursday. Well, her car was found after being driven by Jeremy Smith when he was approached by officer here for that welfare check on I-40. I want Phoenicia to be remembered as a public servant, a wife, a mother, a sister. Um, just as you all are grieving the loss of your officer, we too are grieving alongside you for your officer and for Phoenicia. Now take a good look at this picture here. If you see Jeremy Smith, do not approach him. He is considered armed and dangerous. If you see him, call New Mexico State Police right away at 505-425-5711 or just dial 911. This, of course, a developing story, so you can follow us on air and online for all of the updates.